Oki I tamo a pena komi op Kit kanek se met se mag poa It is Dark <laughs> Must be going on toward 8 o'clock Yeah, quarter to 8 in the AM On Friday December 20th, 2019 in the last quarter of the second winter moon and just out taking in the dawn here at Spopikimi past a few deer on the way in from the parking lot and just headed along the west bank obviously now being too loud to see coyotes or probably anything else um, but yeah not sure what's in store for today the it's been above zero like I'm not even wearing gloves um, all I got under my jacket here is a t-shirt I believe no I got a hoodie too so but anyway it's not too cold and a lot of the small mammals have been kind of waking up so I got a as you saw a couple of skunks in a row yesterday I was called to set another trap and then um, a groundskeeper at the at the uh, Henderson Lake Golf Course I believe um, tagged me in a post where he had been relocating a skunk so they're waking up, they're getting out and about, and I gotta kinda reel in my traps over the weekend here because you at least either reel them in or let people know to close them because uh, right after Christmas, I guess, well, it'd be next week, next week today, I'll be flying out, going to visit a friend in San Francisco for a few days, so gotta make sure I don't have any loose ends out here catching some of these little guys that are waking up. Anyhow, should be around to the river before long. See what's up with the geese over there. And right on cue, the Canadian Pacific Rail. The river's been opening up a little bit. The semi-warm weather. Warm being like two, three degrees above zero. <laughs> but that's enough. Looks like there might be that merganser back there. That merganser that's been hanging out here. It's definitely not a goose, but I didn't bring my binoculars. I enjoy it here this time of day, actually. It's just about perfect. Well, it is. It's coming in at the perfect time. If it was summer, and I was here in this kind of phase of transition between night and day it would just be optimal for listening to the morning songs and all of that not going to be hearing any morning songs <laughs> today but I don't know even something just about the lighting and everything kind of brings me back to uh, to summer dawns warms me in a weird way there oh a couple of uh, white tails 
It's a buck. You can see a rack on him. You guys probably aren't going to be able to see with this camera. Let me get out my iPhone. Here we go. You can see the couple of them there. We still haven't figured out what the whitetails are eating on the absinthe field. They're there every morning. Kind of congregating here this winter a little bit. It's not often I see so many whitetails around the pond. Yeah, they relaxed a little bit. Let me see if I can step forward. Move on my way as well. is a, uh, I believe a red tail hawk. Which is not a usual sighting for me in winter here at the pond. Raven in the background. Also heard a kill deer this morning is not expected. That hawk cried out as it passed me. And uh, it's definitely the call of a red tail hawk or a Swanson's hawk, and it wasn't a Swanson's hawk. I didn't get a, a strong ID when she swooped over, but... Anyhow, another feature of my morning walks for the last little bit is the herd of whitetails that were feeding on the absent field on my arrival, trying to beat me this way, come up over the levee down into the forest to hide. Still a few more out here. The herd is growing. Like I say, they're starting to congregate. Just about to the parking lot now, as you can see, so I'm gonna head to the studio and get on with my day. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, just now you guys go ahead. Hello, Mr. Heavyhead? Yeah. Hi. Um, I live down in Paradise, and this morning when I went down into uh, my basement bathroom, there's a snake skin that's been left behind. 
Okay. <laughs> just in the middle of our bathroom. And, and of course, I don't know what kind of snake skin it is, but now we're worried because obviously there's a snake in our house. This is brand new. This is brand brand like uh, like you you were in the washroom recently and it wasn't there and today it's there. Yes, it's. Um, I was probably in that particular room maybe three days ago. My husband probably went in and out in the last few days. It's. Oh, how interesting. Uh, well, it's really unnerving, actually. Yeah, <laughs> so no, we're, we're, we'll we'll get this problem solved for you. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. Um, but I don't know if it's under your jurisdiction as a rattlesnake because it may be, it should be, of all, who knows what it is. Yeah, I no, I, I do, uh, in, in winter, it's not unusual at all for me to deal with exotic snakes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay, so. so we've, we've lived in this home for like six weeks. Just waited for a couple of my students to show up before I vacated the studio and now I'm in Paradise Canyon just headed into the bottom where I think the residence is I'm really interested to find out if this is indeed a snake skin or not if so then I would suspect we're probably dealing with an exotic but chances are it's gonna be a condom pantyhose <laughs> something else something else who knows one time it was a moth coming coming up through the uh, bathroom drain that someone was sure was a, a rattlesnake head so could be anything I've had a hair tie in the bed you know we're gonna find out soon You know, in the panic, Dave thinks it's like just a common garter. But yeah, you know, I've only you know seen. I was just like, oh no, this is like the haven for. Uh, yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. But I, you know, with the rattlesnake thing, I could go to sleep really early in the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Oh but yeah. That's what we saw. Um, just exactly like that. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> All right, this is not a snake skin. What? Yeah, this is plastic. I don't know what it what it belongs to, but yeah, it's a little. Oh wow! Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, come off with something. I don't know what, but. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Not surprising, because it would surprise me if you actually had a snake skin. <laughs> But I've been I've been called for hair ties, moths. Oh my God! <laughs> Do you see how it? it like, you didn't want to touch it. Yeah, it looked like it. Even even when you put it out to me, it looked looked. Uh, at first, I was like, oh yeah, oh, that's I a snake so skin. I, I, you know, no, don't be embarrassed. I went right down on the ground thinking it's a snake so skin too. So you think it too, came off of a, like a package? Something, like, something. Oh, circular. This is... Yeah, circular. Like. And I've been doing lots of projects, but I don't. You uh, replaced your oh, toilet this... ring didn't no, recently? No. no. Oh my goodness! That, that's just, I, <laughs> but it does. It really we're looks so stinky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going. We have to cancel the kids coming because they're down here with a little two-year-old. And where could this thing be? And oh my goodness! I, I think I've lost a couple of years of my life. Well, now, now at least it's not going to be a couple of hours of searching your house for an exotic snake. 